Sunday. Uh, what we are about to do is our annual Bible study. It is from Nigerian Baptist Convention. They produce one book every year for us to study. Just as we know that our topic this, our team this year is moving forward, becoming a more spiritually disciplined church. Okay. So the part of discipline is to have more knowledge about the word of God. Right. Kama gana na wana shikala shini kusa waga ba zama iklisia maida. So the word of God I want to have more knowledge about the team is on song heroes. Kama gana zama ambande sushini maya mota ni wata ndasiki ya mwoyi. If we are talking of heroes, they are very important personality that everybody reckon with the done great things and that has proclaimed their name. That is why we call them heroes. But on the area of these concerned heroes, if I to ask any of us, one that the character that we know or we love in the Bible, let me cite it and let me just ask somebody. Mr. Mokonjola, can you tell me one hero you know in the Bible? One hero. Moses is one of them. Moses. 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 That were not mentioned, but they are very, very important, and their life is worthy of emulation if we want to grow as children of God. Kamari de tapa na wala na mata ni sana tukini tapa ni sana kiwa na mansan sundewa ama haria nzun apai wada na siki ya kuwe atukini tapa ni sana kiwa na nda bafa ni suna yen sebab masanya abu bua masanya wa atukini wana dunia. When we study this on some people that we are talking about. It doesn't sound like we are going to talk about that. No, 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 in the church of God, that what we do may not be visible to everybody in the church. So now, come again, man, let's show up. When I go to the church, I must have a bazaar. I can't even see at the church. But when we do it with one mind, God has called us, and know what we did for Him will surely reward us. Am I sure that we can master Zaygani, Zaygu master man at the barca? So we must be faithful to it. Don't hack a dull any. It will also help us to see that we need to go special lens, extra lens to work for God. So we are going to make the world a real difference in the world. So the character that I want to study this morning are Bezala and Oholia. They are worthy artisans in the Bible. Kamariya de tapa de suna yen sumuta nini karpapu achikini tafi mesarki. Somebody that have not heard that name before. Another one is Makahaya, true prophet. Makahaya, wadan subadasu iye jim wadan nan suna yeba. And there's another man that the name was not mentioned, but we know him as the man at Gadara. Akai wadi kuma wanda suna yi shiba, fati yi shiba. Why another one is the elect lady? Monsa wote kuma wada kachinjata itayar ya yaria. And lastly, Phoebe, wedi yet humble. So these are five characters that want to study in the word of God. So let's listen as I call on the first person that will make us to know about who is Bezalel and Bohuliam and what impact they make in the word of God and what can we learn about them. Yeah, that's how we should do a look at that. Can I have a look at that? Can I have a 
Praise the Lord. Uh, there are heroes according to our leader. We mentioned Moses, Joshua, Elijah, and the rest. But we want to look into these two heroes. That God deposited something in them. And he announced them to the world. And let me expose this to all of us this morning. That there is no one God abandoned without any gifts. This teaching is coming to just identify your own and use it for the responsible. Oh, holy. Want to read from the book of Exodus chapter 31. From verse 1 to 6. Then the Lord said to Moses, See, I have chosen Bezalel, son of Ori, the son of Hor, of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled him with the Spirit of God, with wisdom, with understanding, with knowledge, and with all kinds of skills. To make artists designs for work in wood, silver, and bronze, to cut and set stones, to work in wood, and to engage in all kinds of crafts. Thank you, Mommy. God has already chosen before He even discovered Himself. But we should understand that this gentleman learned this all the way from Egypt. In the strange lands where they were so tight, there's no room for them to practice light and exercise their own talents. He was forced to learn this thing. In the strange land. I have some points with me here. He was raised in Egypt. Many of us was also raised in Zungeru. Many was also raised in Kundu. I'm talking of many of us, if you we are to trace to our Genesis, we are from rural area. Bezalel was taught outside the box and had value to his life. He is also hidden treasure. Being under the shadow of God, he did not succumb to the fear of the slave. I mean, slave master. He did not allow the situation to define him. He thought outside the box and have value to his life. Now to bring out the picture of what God used this gentle Man. Mm -hmm. to, to make artistic design for what he got. Sliver and brows. To cut and set stones. To work in wood. And to engage in all kinds of crafts. We have an engineer today. Engineering different. Um, different departments. Their work is to make the structure beautiful. Conducive for one to live in. The time will not permit us in the scripture is we were told that this gentleman 
from when the Moses was coming down from the mountains. God has revealed to him these are the people that will do the work for me. It's, it's not just a child that just wake up a day and come up with that talent and gifts. God has kept him and in a hidden place waiting for the day of manifestations. God is not challenging us this morning to discover our own gifts and use, and use it for the expansion of God's kingdom. They are the ones that God used those things that they used to build the house of the Lord, 